Hi, this is Tyler, and I'm going to be showing you how to mount a jetpack or power shot bottle to any round two using our super bracket and a pair of billet based star roll bar clamps. For tools, all you'll need is a 532nd Allen wrench, 316th Allen wrench, 716th wrench, and a 17 millimeter wrench. The most common devices you'll see powered by our jetpack system are air lockers and pneumatically operated sway bars. The jetpack system has two 20 ounce bottles. You have a main 20 ounce bottle. This is good for upwards of 500 actuations of a typical ARB air locker and we give you a spare as backup. You have a couple options when choosing your jetpack system. This here is the 160 PSI adjustable regulator. We also have a 400 PSI max output adjustable regulator. And the other thing you'll be asked to choose is whether you want a five millimeter or six millimeter air fittings. And this depends on the airline supplied with your locker or other air device. To complete the install today, we are using one of our ARB manifold kits. This one allows us to use our ARB solenoids to run uh, our lockers off of our electronic switch. Additionally, we have our super bracket and a pair of roll bar clamps to mount the bottle to the Genrite roll cage behind us. Additionally, we will be mounting the manifold to the roll cage in a separate location. Let's talk about what is included in the manifold kit. First, you get the manifold itself. It's a five port manifold, one on the side, three coming out of here and one out the bottom. Uh, you can orient this in a couple different ways, whichever works best, but we're gonna show you the typical way for a two locker install. Next, you have some mounting hardware. You have a 160 PSI gauge. This shows the line pressure currently in your system. You have a pressure release valve. This is set to 150 PSI. It ensures that if there is a pressure spike in the system, that that doesn't reach your air actuated device, whether it be your lockers, your sway bar, it prevents damage, keeps them safe. You get two push and fittings. You have a choice of either five millimeter or six millimeter airlines, and that is determined based on what airline is supplied with your device. Next, you get an eighth inch plug and a industrial plug this is to plug into your air source, either a jetpack or a power tank. First step, we're gonna start at our air source. So we're gonna take our quarter inch industrial plug and one of our push and fittings and screw them together. We use global threads on our push and fittings. This means you do not need thread tape or uh, any type of liquid sealant. We're going to be using a 13 mil and a 9 16 to get these tight. Now, next step is we are going to begin assembling our manifold. For the most part, we like to have our air inlet off to the side. So again, with our push and fitting, we do not need any thread sealant. Thirteen mil gets that tight. Okay. Next, we have our solenoids. These do need Teflon tape. So now that the solenoids are prepped, we're going to install them on either side of these three holes. Uh, and I forgot a crescent wrench. Good thing I was carrying one in my back pocket. I have both solenoids installed in the manifold now. If you only have a rear locker or you're only actuating one device, take the plug and plug in the other hole. Otherwise, next we're gonna take our gauge. Again, we're gonna wrap this in Teflon tape. And to save some time, we're gonna also do that to the pressure release valve. Okay, now from here, you kind of have an option. It depends on how you want to mount these. 
course, the mounting hardware included goes through here. So if you're going to maybe a fender well, then you want to put the gauge right here between the solenoids. But you might be mounting it like this, in which case you want to put the gauge here or you know, however you mount it. Whatever works best for your application. We're going to take the gauge and I'm going to put it right in line with the rest. And that's going to take a 7 16. Okay, and then the pressure release valve goes in the last open hole. You can use an 11 16 or the crescent wrench that is easy before. Okay, there we go. Remember that all these are pipe threads, which means they are tapered thread. If you have threads showing once things are tight, that's totally normal. Now we just got to install this on the vehicle plug in our solenoids to the switches and put in a six millimeter air input. And these go out to the air actuated devices, lockers in this case. All right, so there is your manifold kit assembled. Now all that's left to do is plumb your airlines and run your wiring. When you are running your airlines, basically you have this at your source with your airline coming down into your input your electronic switches uh, operate these solenoids and send air to either side. Your gauge shows your line pressure, how much pressure is in this system. And your pressure release valve, of course, prevents any pressure spikes from damaging your equipment. Assembling your super bracket is very simple. First, you're going to take your strap, remove the red, yellow thread protector, thumb nut, and disassemble it. Make sure you don't lose this cap. Now you're just going to thread your strap through the bracket in the correct orientation. When I say correct orientation, I mean whatever is best for your application. And since the bracket is reversible, it just matters which side is going to be easiest to access this thumb nut. So whether you have it like this or upside down like this, whatever is easier to get to this thumb nut to be able to remove your bottle. First step is putting the shims around the tube. We have an inch and a half tube, which means inch and a half shims. All right, now grab one set of roll bar clamps. It goes around the back and secure them with the long skinny bolts. Roll bar clamps are on but I can still move them if I need to. Final bit of hardware, you're gonna take your button head, put the split washer down, flat washer, then goes through the bracket. Into the roll work. And it's that simple. In just a few minutes, you can have your jetpack or power shop mounted cleanly and securely to your vehicle. Our Daystar clamps have shims for inch and a half, inch and three quarter, inch and seven eighths, two inch, and two and one quarter inch tubing. All right, now we just gotta plumb everything. I already have the front plugged into the first solenoid. Rear locker gets pushed into the rear solenoid. Okay. Now I have another five millimeter airline. This goes from the jet pack. It's going to sneak down below the floor and come back up over here. And this is our input, which goes underneath like that. Okay. All right. And now 
Uh, like we said before, this is a previous install. This has already been working with the compressor. So uh, the electronics are gonna be, need to be redone in a little bit. But for now, we can just test it with a 12 volt uh, plugged into these leads. So let me grab those wires. All right, so uh, everything's pretty much hooked up. Unfortunately, you can't see the gauges on the regulator, but I'm gonna show you how to set it anyway. We have our main tank knob. We're gonna open this up, give it a few turns. Now we're gonna open our main regulator. A or B recommends 80 to 90 PSI to their lockers. And that's about 90. And it'll reflect on this gauge here. We have one solenoid hooked up to some alligator clips. I have 12 volt power right here. And let's test it out. All right. And when we let go, we should hear it exhaust. Perfect. We have lockers. Uh, so next we're going to, now that we know it's working, um, Adam's gonna take uh, his Titan back. He's gonna clean things up, move things around, but we know the system works. It's not leaking. We tested the uh, other locker already. We are good to go. Um, so today we installed a jetpack. We mounted it to this Genrite cage. We assembled our ARB manifold kit. We mounted both of these with roll bar clamps. We tested it for leaks. Everything's good. Now we just need to wire it and rework the plumbing so it's nice and clean. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.